Jesus freak here. And this is a point where I've sometimes been at odds with other people over. And I figured I should clear the air about what exactly I believe as far as uh, cessationism versus continuationism. See, a lot of people who are continuationists, full-on continuationists, this tends to lead to Pentecostalism and Mormonism. Now, while I do believe that the gifts have 100% stopped, I believe that, you know, sometimes these things still happen. My opinion is that prophecy as a major thing, signs and wonders as a thing you see he frequently, that in this sense, that yeah, it seems true. The idea being that they were given for the purpose of the apostolic age to spread the gospel, and that once that mission was more or less complete, they were no longer necessary because, you know, how are you just going to take on faith what's, uh, what's all this stuff is when, when you're seeing all this whiz bang stuff? They had to stop so that we could uh, walk by faith and not by sight. But they didn't 100% stop. They're probably about 99% stopped. And I think they stopped around the year 100 of the Christian era. I don't believe that any further prophetic messages are given people are occasionally give, uh, given minor glimpses into the future or whatever, but they're not given, like, messages to tell their flock or whatever. Because, as I say, the Book of Revelation closed with the Book of Revelation. So... We're pointed to Holy Writ, and it becomes important that, you know, the revelation that we have is sufficient for us. And because it's sufficient, no more needs to be given. So no more is given. And in this sense, I guess, compared to Pastor Brett, my interpretation of that verse in 1 Corinthians 13 about uh, the imperfect things being done away with when things are, or uh, when the perfect has come, when he says, you know, this, this is what I believe versus what... Uh, uh, John MacArthur believes. Um, 1 Corinthians 13.10 But when that which is perfect is come, and that which is in part shall be done away. I tend to take the opposite approach, and I do believe that what is perfect is this. But I understand, you know, that's not a universal sentiment. Because we still are seeing darkly in a mirror. But
at least we have the complete Teleos perfected Word of God, the complete revelation of God to His people. And it's all we need. So that's all we get anymore. Because it's important that we are able to walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus freaked out. 